What would our girls do without a little eye candy to help them through the day? Hey guys, welcome to another My Scene doll review of mine, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the male dolls as I showcase the Spring Break Bryant doll. Here's a close-up of Bryant. He was one of the first two male characters released as a doll in the Spring Break line, Hudson being the other. And an interesting fact about this character is that he was only ever released twice. First of all in the Spring Break line, which is the one we're looking at right now, and then in the Back to School line. So Bryant has peach coloured skin, romantic dark green eyes, his hair is a mixture of strawberry blonde and light brown, and it's styled as an afro, making Bryant, in my opinion, the most multiracial character of the whole Mycene franchise. He comes wearing this outfit, which is pretty awesome. Let's analyze it. And first of all, it starts off with a top that's both green at the front and at the back on the middle. The sleeves of this top are chocolate brown, but the best part about this top is the awesome tastic illustration, which I'm going to show you guys. This is so, so funny. It's a dog with a cat inside it. So basically a cat is resting inside a barking dog on his top. <laughs> oh, that's so, that's so awkward, but you know what? I love it. He also comes wearing one of those typical neck chains or necklaces that guys used to wear in the late 90s, early 2000s. Between you and me, guys, it was always the cute guys that had these. <laughs> And he also comes wearing these jean shorts that are quite detailed. They're dark blue and they mimic denim jean material. Now he comes also wearing some shoes or better yet sandals. And this look is definitely one that isn't exactly in style. Maybe it was in the early 2000s, but I remember back when I was in school, people used to get joked or teased at for wearing socks with, uh, with sandals. But here they are, light green socks with dark green sandals that have a couple of triangular patterns in white on the front. Here's the bottom of those sandals. So they're black at the bottom. And as much as I'm saying this probably wasn't really ever a fashionable look, <laughs> me and Brian today are matching, ironically. I looked at the doll and I thought, you know what? I might as well match my buddy. So yeah. Moving on, this doll came with a couple of accessories. The male dolls don't usually come with a second outfit, um, or at least in the spring break line from what I noticed, they don't. But he comes with, first of all, these shorts, and they're very floral. They have loads of flower-like leaf patterns on them. The base color of these shorts is navy blue, and the top part is gray. He also came wearing these black shades and he came with this red visor. He also came with a dark brown doll stand. But something I did want to point out guys, above all, is the articulation that all the male Mycene dolls have. They are so articulated. So I'm holding the doll with one hand as I'm holding my camera with another. So I'm going to try and show you as best as I can. But he has a lot more articulation, a lot more articulation than any of the female dolls. He has articulation here on the elbows, making him more poseable. Whereas the female dolls, usually you can just stretch their arms up and down. All the male dolls are articulated. He also has easier head articulation than the girls. He doesn't have the bend and snap knee that most Mycene dolls have. He actually has this molded function that makes it much easier to bend his knee and his leg. And his torso is very articulated. In fact, the torso region is what's basically controlling the whole doll's movement. As you guys can see, it's a very loose torso. And let's not show too further below so I don't get a censorship. <laughs> okay, guys, he also came with this stereo that's gray. Let's see if my camera focuses. 
It's a pretty awesome stereo. At first I thought this part opened, but after trying to pull it a couple of times, I noticed it doesn't. So we're just gonna leave it like that. But it's pretty cool. I like its design. Another thing I can tell you guys about Bryant was he was the character known for liking film and he had in the cartoon a video camera always with him. He also came with these accessories on his wrists, a black necklace, oh sorry, a black bracelet, not a necklace, a bracelet with a couple of mini circular studs. He also came with this red watch, I'm just going to focus my camera. And now I'm just going to put the shades on him for you guys to see. So that's what he looks like with the shades on. And I'm now going to put him in the remaining two accessories, the shorts and the visor. And let's see how he looks in his second outfit. And here's Bryant in his second outfit, or should we say in the accessories? Here he is with the visor on his head. So some of his hair does kind of stick out at the top, obviously, because it's Afro like hair. Um, but yeah, he does look really handsome. Only question now, guys, is which of the girls should I pair him up with? Or should I pair him up with another guy? You guys let me know in the comments below. So yeah, here's what he looks like. Come on camera, focus for us. Uh-huh. Yeah. Very cool, very spring break. Definitely very early 2000s spring break. And to finalize this review, he comes with the Mycene Spring Break booklet, which I also showed you guys in my Mycene Spring Break Madison doll review. But we're gonna take a quick look at it again, just cause it's, it's a very small booklet. It has four of the, the girls, the four girls used in this line, along with Brian himself. So Barbie. It also showcases Chelsea. Madison, or as she's known in Europe as Wesley, and then Bryant and Noli. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you have any of the male dolls. And again, let me know in the comments below, who should we pair him up with? Who should we pair him up with? Don't forget to click that subscribe button, or if you're watching on a different platform, don't forget to click a like button. Bye guys.